Hey everybody, it's Gary Vaynerchuk from WineLibraryTV.com for TheStreet.com and MainStreet.com. Excited to be back. Thank you for having me back. I want to talk to you about Pinotage Saddleberg, uh, 2006 Pinotage. Pinotage from South Africa is a grape varietal that I think a lot of you have not been exposed to. Uh, it was an interesting kind of a vision uh, back in the day of basically cloning or, or migrating uh, since so. And, uh, and Pinot Noir creates a very unique flavor profile that has taken off in South Africa. Mixed results here in the US, but I'm here to expand your palate and find you deals. Wanna make money too, that's the name of this world. This is over delivering. This is a 15 to $25 quality wine for $8.99. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. And you get that burnt bacon meets almost like a banana kind of thing going on in the nose, almost like a little copper action. Yeah, quite interesting. Let's give it a whirl. I love this wine. It's like baked bacon, very rustic, you know, banana flavors, very strong tannins on the back end. So you have to know what you're looking for. But if you're out there drinking $20, $30 red wine and you want to expand your palate and learn about new things, Pinotage is a varietal that I think all of you need to put into rotation at least three or four times. The back end tannins, I'm tasting it right now, are very beastly. So you got to know your palate. If big wines bother you, this is not your play. But if you're looking for wines, that replicate Cabernet and Syrah and Tanat flavors, big, big wines. I think a Pinotage, especially this specific one, can really do the number for you. And when you talk about this economy and finding wines that taste 25, that are priced at 8.99, that's a buy, buy, buy. So, and not buy, 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 I mean buy, buy, buy. So, uh, hope you go out, try new things. Uh, Pinotage is a varietal that goes with a lot of different foods. You know, if you're into birds like hen or pigeon, things of that nature for sure. Uh, but even with meats, because it's got the big tannins on the back end, it can work and play with those kind of foods. So um, go out, try new things. That's always the key. That's why I started Wine Library TV. And I hope you have a great day. So see you next time.